Oh my god. Oh my god! This is painful. If the title alone weren't enough... Hi, my discordant darlings! <laughs> it's CK, and I am back with... Rage. Rage. The level of my rage would earn me a ring from Atrocitus. For the incredulous indignation that I am currently feeling over the Female Furies miniseries. If the title alone weren't enough, I was going to wait to make my commentary on the Female Furies miniseries, only because in the beginning of the first issue, I actually liked the start, up until its obvious political commentary got underway. The fact that Granny Goodness appeared at all to hesitate toward offering her Lord Darkseid, her body, her loyalty, any part of her, is ridiculous. And now here I sit, reading the second issue titled Nasty Woman. I just got to the point where Willick refers to Aurelie as a quote-unquote nasty woman. And I can't help but laugh, honestly. By the fire pits! That is the best insult that he, as an apocalyptic man, can come up with. No, by the writing of the NPC author who wants to input her own SJW leanings into Apocalypse, a literal hell world. No one on Apocalypse is safe from the depravity. The weak are eaten, the lowest of the low are sent to fight and die, tortured on multiple levels until they are utterly loyal to Darkseid, and it is Granny who facilitates it. What does Darkseid care if one of his people touched another? Seriously, it is of no concern to him because rape, murder, and underhanded ladder climbing is part of the status quo on Apocalypse. Now, before I finish this script, I'm going to finish this book. I'm about halfway through, and I just had to start writing. This, I think at the end of this script, I may go completely off script and just rant, because quite frankly, this book is infuriating. As a fan of the female furies of Apocalypse, of Darkseid, of Big Barda and Scott Free, of the New Gods, I am furious for the insult wrought into this world, creation of the great Jack Kirby. <sighs> and when Arali is brought before the others, they act like they've never had the same happen to them throughout their lives? What? What kind of hell world is this? All, all women and men are potentially subject to this reality. Did you know in the real world, men are actually raped in higher numbers because of jail? Because of prison? So... To imagine that anyone on a literal hell world would be safe just because of their sex from the domination. And that's really what rape is about. It's power. So if somebody wants power over anybody and is able to take it through that means, through something that is in many ways so degrading, why wouldn't they? Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. That was a little off script, but... If I had any shred, any shred of hope left for the Female Furies miniseries, it was crushed as thoroughly as any sign of hope against the anti-life equation. And here's where I go off script. I... Oh! Oh, I had to get this fresh. I had to get... I had to get this fresh because there is no way I, I could bring this feeling back. There is no way I would willingly bring this feeling back because, oh my god, <laughs> oh, this writer has, <sighs> in the first, there were some slight red flags put up in the first issue when Granny Goodness had any hesitation towards offering her body to Apocalypse. As a thoroughly loyal individual, I can't see Granny doing anything other than stripping on the point she stands and offering herself on her knees to him for his use however he desires. 
I would say the same of Steppenwolf. I would say the same of any Apocalyptan who are blindly loyal to him. Blindly loyal. There are people out in the world who are so, so devout in their faith that if Christ, if Allah, if Yahweh came down to earth in physical form and demanded that you get on your knees and suck them off, there are people out there who would say, how deep, how hard, without second thought. That is the level of loyalty expected on Apocalypse to Darkseid. These women, the female Furies, have likely experienced rape repeatedly. Each one of them, even Bernadette. What they have not likely experienced, however, was a fucking beauty pageant where they had to bake and smile. There is no baking on Apocalypse. In fact, I would be amazed if there was any smiling on Apocalypse. <sighs> so, I heard from one of the quote-unquote comics gators that I happened to listen to that, that she wanted to write a story to some degree of this caliber with a different character. But because she couldn't, she ended up getting the female Furies. And the fourth world. Hmm. I want to know who is allowing this tripe into my comics? Why? That is part of why I gave up reading Marvel comics. Why I stuck with reading DC comics. And now the SJW NPC bullshit is coming over to my side of the fence? Why? I just, I... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I have no words for this. I can go, I mean, I, I... Okay, I, I, I... I I'm just gonna leave it here. Have fun. I, I, I need a breather after that. Have fun, my discordant darlings. I can't. I just can't. Oh, because this rant would go on forever. Bye. So catchy.